Here are five cool effects in just three minutes that you can try today. Invert flicker effect. Create an adjustment layer and place it above your clips. Open the effects, search for invert, and apply it to your adjustment layer. Now, take the razor tool and cut the adjustment layer in the middle where both clips meet. After that, cut four frames on each side. Basically, cut frame by frame using the razor. Delete the extra adjustment parts, then follow this pattern. Keep the first frame, delete the second, keep the third, delete the fourth, and continue this way. That that's how you'll get the invert flicker effect. Trendy text animation. To create it, download my free text preset pack. Link in description. Once you import the Mogurt files in Essential Graphics, you'll get 10 different text animations. If you drag preset number 56, you'll instantly have a super clean caption animation that's trending right now. To edit it, just double click. It gives you full control to change font, size, color, and more. And if you want to save even more time, check out my Ultimate 70 Title Animation Pack. Link in description. Photo flash effect. Start by importing all of your photos. It works best when you have a lot of them. Select all, right click, choose speed a duration, and set it to three frames. Keep everything zero to left side, and put three at last box. Now every photo is three frames. Now go to the sequence menu, and hit close gap, so that all photos snap together instantly. Select the first photo. Go to Lumetri Color, and in basic correction, increase the exposure to maximum. While the photo is selected, go to Effects Control, create an opacity keyframe at the start with default value, then another one at the end with value 0%. Now select both the opacity and Lumetri settings from Effects Control, then copy them, select all other photos, and paste both effects using Control Shift V. And just like that, your photo flash effect is ready. If it feels too intense, simply Simply select some random photos, right click, choose remove attributes, and hit OK. To make it even cooler, nest all photos. Then in effects control, add a scale keyframe starting at 100, and another one at the end around 110 to 115 for a smooth zoom in effect. Flash transition. This one works amazingly for music videos. For this, I'll be using my free transition pack, link in description. First, create an adjustment layer, and drop it above your clips. Place your playhead at the middle of two clips. Since this transition works works best at 30 frames. Move 15 frames forward, make a cut, then move 15 frames backward and cut again. Delete the extra parts, leaving only a 30 frame section. Drag and drop the flash transition preset onto this adjustment layer. You'll instantly get a clean flash transition. If needed, tweak it from effects control. Plus, in the free pack, there are other transition categories you can try. And if you want to save hours of editing, check out my seamless transition pack with 100 plus transitions across 22 categories, compatible with all Premiere versions and any resolution. Flicker effect. Take your video clip, duplicate it, and place the copy one track above. Disable the main track for now. Use the razor tool to make some cuts where you want the effect to start. Cut frame by frame. Delete the first cut, keep the second, delete the third, keep the fourth, and continue this way. You'll already see the flicker effect, but let's make it even better. Re-enable the main track, then go to effects control. Scale up the clip and adjust the position. In effects, search for flip and apply a horizontal flip to the main clip. That's it. You you now have a really nice flicker effect. To increase or decrease the intensity, just adjust the number of cuts. So that's it for this quick tutorial. Subscribe for more and let me know in the comments which effect was your favorite. See you in the next video.